It's interesting because, you know, just following up on what you said, there isn't agreement even in their own government, whatever the positions they hold about how they should sell the Bitcoin. Um, that, that there was a little bit of anger at how they sold and how they saw the return. The person, I think maybe we read the same article, but that person was uh, expressing it was stupid. It's really no different than anybody else who sells in what we would call a distressed situation. If you dump, if you have big bags, right? If you dump all your bags all at once, you fill orders all the way down. You don't fill orders usually all the way up. That's for buying. So whatever you fill at each level, most people don't realize that. They kind of look at a price and go, I'm going to sell for X. But no matter what exchange you're on, there's little amounts that people will buy at every pricing level. And it, it, it's always going to be less if you dump it all at one time. And I think that's that was the issue. But you see that in every, uh, in everything. If you have a lot of any one thing and you try to sell yeah. all of that one thing, you will always take less for it if you sell it all at one time. And that's in everything. Yeah, that's so, why I was just having yeah. that conversation with my daughter. That's why Jeff Bezos doesn't actually have two hundred billion dollars or whatever, whatever it is. No, he does not. You know, no, like right. you know, that's all, that's all an Amazon stock. And if he sold it all, you know, that it wouldn't be two hundred billion dollars. It would be something smaller. <laughs>